What is the crack, lads? And welcome back to another squad builder for Dream Team. All the managers at the moment, as you are probably aware on Dream Team, if you're picking a new manager, are veteran-based managers. There's none of the youth guys there. So depending on when you watch this video, they do cycle through. If you want a youth squad, check out my other videos. But for today, we're taking a look at a really nice budget starting veteran squad if you're just downloading and playing eFootball for the first time. So choosing a right manager is very, very, very important. Important. I've covered this in videos before, but we're going to be playing with this manager here, Bryce or Breeze from Leuven over in the Jupiler League. Um, he's got long ball counter. He's also going to be matched up with veteran players. So any player over the age of 29 is going to get experience points boost of 100%. So that's really, really nice. And most of the players, we're going to start us off with Fernandez and goals. He's got a wavering form. He's got really solid stats. Look at his reflexes there. In my opinion, you need to look for two things when you're looking at a goalkeeper base stat wise. You need reflexes and you need their awareness. That is probably everything that you need to look at and then boost those as best you can as well. Speed doesn't really matter. Jump doesn't really matter as much. The reflexes and um, awareness is the two most important stats. This guy is quite, quite solid for that. Next up, we've got a really good budget option. 186 centimeters, unwavering form, 33 years of age, defensive fullback, but he was going to be playing as a CB on the right side of it. This formation that we're choosing is a 3-2-3-2 as far as I'm aware. Um, so it's basically like a modified 3-5-2 formation, which we'll get into in a couple of minutes. You're going to have your left and right midfielders as like left and right backs, really, but linking all the play on the wings. Uh, but this guy for 10,000 GP leads is an absolute bargain. Speaking of bargains, we're going to look at this beast, Dejne or Jene, the destroyer. This guy is 76 overall, but he's only 32,000 GP. We're going to take a quicker and closer look at this guy in more depth over on eFootball DB in just a couple of minutes. But this guy's stats, man, are absolutely insane, right? You're going to want to build your centre-back partnership with the two other boys around him. So you're going to have speed, you're going to have speed and power, and then you're going to have a bit of height all-rounder that can kind of play the ball out to have every access when you're coming out with the ball. Now we're going to take a look over here, right? So straight off, he does have two form, and his ball control and his passing isn't the best for a CB. We will be sorting that out in a, in a minute. But what we're going to do here is just turn him into kind of an all-rounder. So put his speed up into the 80s, um, put his area of strength in his defending there, thereabouts as well, as best as we can get. 85 engagement, 86 aggression. Now, speaking of possession-based centre-backs and passing and, you know, proper footballers in a centre-back position, if we're going to be linking the play, spreading long balls into um, our forwards or our wings, we've got Mark Bartra. Now, this guy is an absolute beast of a player. Look at all his player skills there. 73 stamina. He's also got unwavering form. He's got um, he's able to play right back or right mid or centre-back or DMF. He's a really nice utility player for 15,000 GP. He's one of the most underrated players in the game. Speaking of underrated gems, we've got Xhaka. So this guy is 30 years of age, again, unwavering form. He's not the tallest, he's not the strongest, he's not the quickest. You look at his speed, it's 57, it's really poor. This guy is literally just going to sit, and I mean sit, in the pocket right in front of your CBs, as back as you can possibly have him, and you're going to be using, we're going to be splashing a bit more cash now on the players following this to bring the average cost of the squad up, but still keeping it relatively cheap for a B squad. With this guy, Dem, he's a DMF, but we're going to be playing him as a CMF. He's better suited, I think, to a passing CMF, box to box. He will naturally be a defensive player. When you are playing a 3-5-2, you need to pack the midfield. This guy has got interception, man mark, and one-touch pass, way to pass. So he's like the perfect mix between a DMF and an AMF and a CMF that he's able to link everything. And look at those stats. I mean, absolutely incredible stats. Um... He is, as I said, an anchorman, but he's got unwavering form and he's got a really nice uh, stats. Now, this is one player that, right, obviously a lot of people will be thinking, right, we need kind of like an attack and base CMF or a, a, an AMF if we're playing 3-5-2 to link DMF CBs into our forwards, you know, to be able to link all the play together, go through the middle. Because wing play, wing play is my preferred choice. But I think that if you are trying to get goals, you need to be able to play through the middle as well. Let's have a look at Santi, right? Santi Carzola, 32,000 GP. Now, obviously, we would like somebody like Iniesta. I will be doing a different squad with a bit more GP to play around with. But if you actually compare Santi Carzola, as we will do here, and his stats maxed out to Iniesta's maxed out, apart from low pass and lofted pass, which brings up Iniesta's overall to 89 compared to 86, if you downgrade his passing there, you look at Santi Carzola's uh, stats there. He's also three form. Iniesta's two form. So that obviously makes it. Player ID, player skills, very, very similar. 
and he's less than half the price. So check him out. Ashley Young. So as I said, we're going to have a couple of tricks here with this formation. Ashley Young can play anywhere on the left flank, anywhere on the right flank. He's not the fastest, but he's got nice acceleration, nice defensive engagement, nice ball control to be able to you know, attack really, really well and be able to defend really, really well. So he's a really nice player. He's an offensive full black back. We're going to be playing him as a left midfielder. Um, and just any, you know, impact that we're going to have, he's able to cross, he's able to do everything. He's also A rating at time of this video. Next up is one of the best hidden gems I've uncovered. He's 14,000 GP. He's speeding bullet, playing style, early crosser, which is what we want. He's unbelievable stats, unbelievable potential, 76 speed, 74 acceleration. He's pretty much like a right back that can play any position as well. So him and Ashley Young are very interchangeable. You can switch things up. If you want to decide to go back to a flat five at the back, manually change your formation, you can do that and play a, a, a five at the back. But this guy is insane as well. Next up, we've got Bakambu. So this guy is a French player, or sorry, playing in the French league for Marseille in league one. Unwavering form again, 79 pace, 77 acceleration and 73 finishing off the rip. He's a goal poacher as well. He can play left wing, he can play center forward, he can play right wing. So he is one for the future as well that you can actually you know, make him a, a right winger if you need, need it to as well. What we're going to be focusing on here is to just turn him into a deadly finisher, right? So like a mini Mbappe, speed, power, finishing. That's all we want. We don't really need an aerial threat here, so to speak, because we're going to have a two-pronged attack. But I think having his shooting up into the high 80s, having his speed and acceleration up into the high 80s, obviously when you're doing this as well, as always make sure when you are training the players in-game to make sure that you have their play style proficiency up. You can see here, we are going to be playing our play style. We, you know, we don't want to waste all our points. We do want to keep a couple of, of points off uh, for the play style to link him up, whether you're deciding to play quick counter, whether you're deciding to play out wide, whether you're deciding to play possession game, whatever. Last but not least, we've got Caputo. So we are lacking a bit of height and we're still lacking it up front in our strikers department. I do usually like to have a tall striker, but I think for this guy's stats and his finishing, incredible. His heading is incredible. He just plays really, really nice. He's got so many nice player skills, first time shot and one touch pass. So he'll be able to link up with those little triangles and one touch and goals. And as well, he's that, he's a fox in the box. So unwavering form as well. So boost up his finishing, boost up his aerial strength and his heading and his speed. And you're going to have a really nice two pronged attack. So lads, that is it for a budget veteran squad. Let me know if I've missed anybody. We will be doing another squad, which will be a little bit more expensive and a higher cost, but also quite good. If you are starting out in the game, I would definitely recommend checking out my U-Team squad builders as well. And then decide whether you want a veteran squad or a U-Team squad both are very 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 nice so yeah let me know your comments and let me know your recommendations as ever huge shout out to all you guys for recommending loads of players to check out i'll be back in a bit don't forget to check out efootballdb.com as well if you want to uh, compare the players like i did in that video link in the description below until next time lads peace